Hello everyone. Um, this is just going to be a short video to let you know if you come to my channel and you're looking for the latest on the oil spill, please look, look under favorites. Um, not all of them that I would want are posted there because I came across uh, something I thought is very peaceful uh, for music to help us keep everything anchored. I'm going to be busy for a little bit for a few hours this evening but when I come back on I'm going to be looking to see if I can find any geological data on the ge the structure of the ocean floor as well as the subfloor. I think that's something that really needs to be uh, focused on as far as uh, dealing with this issue whether it was explosive devices from man or an explosion from pressure uh, I don't know I do have that one video in there that shows a big hole there now the plume coming up is much much bigger um, the further it gets from the pit so um, again I, like I said in my other video I would need two measurements to be able to get the proper uh, measurements on everything else you, you, I need at least two points to mathematically do this uh, I'll try looking at the videos closer later on see if I can see anything on the rows that tells me anything about them so I can look them up and also the distance of how far they are from the well, were from the wellhead. There's, it's not there anymore. So, I just want to let you folks know uh, that what we need to be looking at, uh, along with everything else that we have to look at with this calamity of uh, epic proportions. I don't know if we. Aside from super volcanoes uh, that wipe out like the dinosaurs, I don't know if we've seen anything this bad since then. So again, I want to, if anybody has any data on the structure of the uh, ocean floor or the substratosphere underneath it, uh, the sub-level if they were to do something uh, to try to cap it off see because they're talking about pouring the cement in well that's all fine and good you may stop it up there but there might be cracks and uh, crevices uh, faults where it'll blow out there because there isn't an easy access for the release of pressure anymore at the wellhead if they do manage to succeed to block it with the with the cement you know, so many so many different uh, areas we need to address and trying to understand this we're just as capable some of us um, of figuring this out too we may not have uh, up-to-date knowledge on the materials being used but as you can see from the dispersant it's not making it go away it's just breaking it down a little bit into smaller particles so ultimately we still end up with the same mass it's just not as uh, tightly bound so it's going to spread more I kind of wonder where they have their heads at. Uh, is this panic that we're seeing? Is that why this rashness? Is this why uh, BP is telling our EPA to go stuff it? Then ultimately you gotta look at also who owns BP so what's what's going on here you know? Queen of England Netherlands, I believe Queen Breachers, she owns Shell, if I remember correctly. 
So BP, yeah, that's the Queen of England. She's pretty much the owner of that. I don't know. Why would England want to wage war on us again? And uh, also, uh, there was something when I clicked on uh, YouTube on the browser bar, and when it loaded, Obama's talking about call for a new international uh, thing. So they're, 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 this this global order, they're still pushing it with all this other garbage going on. Let's deal with one thing before we deal with another. Oh, yeah, that's right, too. They have all these other things going on, so we won't be dealing with the globalization of the world into a one unit. <laughs> what a hell of a cost, though, for all of us, all of mankind. All right, folks, uh, uh, like I said, I'm going to keep this short. I I've got a few things I need to go out and do. I wish you all the best, and if any of you can come across any information on the geological structure of the top layer as well as sub-layers of the ocean floor, I'd appreciate it. Uh, it doesn't have to be a video. I can do text. I still read. I'm not like what they claim most Americans are like. I'm a very ferocious reader, and I comprehend what I read. So. I will be looking into this. I've, I've got to put the uh, health care bill on hold right now to do this. Uh, I, I, other things I want to know. What's the temperature? What's the surface temperature of the water? What's the temperature of the water itself? We've got to look at all this. Evaporation rates. We're supposed to have a storm up coming up here this way too. Uh, so we have all these contaminants and sulfur being one of them and I remember the acid rains uh, back in either the 70s or 80s and, and how it decimated the forest of the eastern coast sulfuric acid in the rains well oil has sulfur in it and that's not being mentioned by anybody All right, folks, uh, I wish all of us well. God bless you all. You know, I'm honored to to know you all. And uh, like I said, I'll, I'll be really digging for research, even if it takes me, even if I have to stay up all night, I'm going to stay up all night, whatever it takes. Get some answers. We can't rely on anybody else. We've got to rely on upon ourselves. All right, I'm close it up for now. May God bless you all, and I hope you can set aside your fears and troubles about this issue and find a quiet space inside yourself and, and give yourself that, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, you kind of have to. Uh, I, I want to see all of you on the other side of the path. Take care, people.